you one question. Do you think food gives us energy directly? I am going to tell you the answer now. The food gets broken down into smaller parts by the digestive system. We eat food every day. We need food for our growth, development, health and and free from diseases. So, I am going to tell you what are the organs present in the digestive system. The organs present in the digestive system are the mouth. Mouth is the starting point. Then here is the food pipe. And then it goes into the stomach and then into the small intestine and large intestine and the waste goes out through the anus and that is the ending point. So now let's learn about the organs in the digestive system. I mean the facts about the digestive system. Now first let's start with the mouth. Mouth the beginning of the digestion starts here. Mouth has a watery substance called saliva. It has a chemical called enzyme. So the saliva softens the food and the tongue and teeth breaks up the breaks up the food into smaller parts and then passes through the food pipe. Food pipe. Food from the mouth passes into the food pipe and reaches the stomach. Stomach. Stomach has a acid known. Stomach has a juice called pancreatic bile juice. So the the function of this juice is to soft to break it until it becomes like a paste and then it goes into the small intestine. Small intestine. Small intestine breaks up this soft, the paste and food into even smaller parts and then uh, it breaks up until it can pass in through the walls of the small intestine and the uh, and goes into the bloodstream. The blood absorbs the nutrient, nutrients and the undigested food goes into the large intestine. Before we go into the large intestine, I will tell you there is an organ beside the stomach. That organ name is liver. Now I am going to tell you about the liver. Liver produces one acid that, that goes into the small intestine. And then that acid is used for absorption of nutrients and digestion of food. Now let's go to the large intestine. The undigested food gets up. The undigested food goes in, pushed into the large intestine. And the blood in the large intestine absorbs the extra water and the extra nutrients. And the uh, waste called piaces are eliminated out of the body through the anus. The semi-anus. The semi-solid piaces are, ex are eliminated out of the body by an opening called anus. If you learn to, if you learn so much today, let's have a quiz. There is going to be three questions in the quiz, and I am going to give you three options in one one organ. Okay? Now I am going to tell you the first question. What? Which organ produces acid that is formed that is used for digestion of food and absorption of nutrients? So here are the exam here are the options. The mouth or the food pipe or the liver. Can you guess what it is? Yes, the answer is liver. So now I am going to ask you the second question. An organ in the digestive system that contains a watery substance called saliva in. So here are the options. A. Large intestine. B. Or the mouth. Or C. Is it the small intestine? Yes. The answer is... 
Now for the are you ready for the final question? This is going to be a very that is in between of the mouth and the stomach. Now that that organ that organ like transports the food from the mouth to the stomach. Can you guess the organ? Wait, I am going to tell you the options first. First, the large intestine. Next, the mouth or the food pipe. Can you guess what it is? Yes, it's the food pipe. So, this is the end of this video. Yeah, last time I made a solar system video. If you didn't see that video, go back and watch watch in my channel. There is solar system. So we had so much fun learning about digestive system today. So, next time I am going to come with another topic. For now, bye.